Caching in its simplest form creates copies of your website files and stores them in a temporary location so your website can be accessed more quickly by visitors. In this guide, you'll learn what caching is, different types of caching, how to activate and use cache to speed up your website, and how to manage and clear your cached files. In most cases, caching is the single most effective and instantly rewarding way to improve site performance. You may already have some form of cache set up on your site, but there are many cache options to consider. Getting a basic understanding of available and active cache types can be a huge help when working on performance or troubleshooting your site. Object cache is pre-compiled application objects from the database like an option, post array, or transient. Page cache stores and serves static HTML copies of your pages and posts to your visitors. Browser cache places temporary data on your visitors' devices so that they don't have to download assets the next time they visit a page. Gravatar cache is more specific to WordPress. This stores local copies of avatars used in comments and your theme. RSS cache will cache your RSS feeds to reduce the load on your server. So next time you're asked if you've tried to clear your cache, you can ask which one. I won't spend much time on object cache because this is a server-side feature and generally provided by your host. For sites hosted with WPMU Dev, object cache can be viewed and flushed under the Hosting tab in the Hub. Use the Tools menu item and scroll to Object Cache. Flushing the object cache is usually only needed after making direct database edits or during development. As noted above, page caching stores static HTML copies of your pages and posts. These static files are then served to visitors, reducing the processing load on the servers and dramatically speeding up your page load time. For sites with Hummingbird Pro installed, you can activate and manage page cache under the Hummingbird caching menu. In the page cache module, click Activate. By default, Hummingbird will cache your pages, post types, tags, categories, and archive pages. If you regularly make changes or have interactive elements on your page that cannot be cached, you can uncache them here. Use Preload to automatically trigger a recache when your cache is flushed. If this is not active, your content will not be cached until someone visits the page. Hummingbird handles flush and cache clearing automatically, but if you need to schedule routine page cache flushing, use the Cache Interval module. Hummingbird includes other settings for fine-tuning your cache experience. If you would like to check if pages are being cached, Check that Identify Cache Pages is active, and from an incognito browser tab, right-click on your page and choose View Page Source, and look for This Page is Cached by Hummingbird in the header. Use exclusions to specify any particular URLs, user agents, or cookies you don't want to cache. Generally, the Hummingbird defaults will be good. But if you have forums, crawlers, are running an e-commerce website, or have interactive elements, you can add exclusions here. Activating browser cache with Hummingbird stores temporary copies of your site directly on your visitor's device. So if they visit your site a second time, the pages load much faster. If you're getting the serve static assets with an efficient cache policy recommendation in your Google PageSpeed test, browser cache is useful for resolving this. The expiry time is simply an instruction to browsers on how long to cache a file. You cannot clear or control your users' browsers. That's why browser cache is only used for static files, as those are expected to never change. Some files and plugins, themes, and WordPress core use cache breakers to basically version the file URL to make sure an update will reload to the browser's cache if a change is detected. Files with this type of versioning look like this. Hummingbird's default expiry time is set to one year, but you can adjust this as needed. Hummingbird should automatically detect what server you are using and adjust accordingly. But if you run into issues, you could follow the troubleshooting steps here or contact support for fast help. Gravatar caching stores local copies of user avatars used in comments and your theme on your server so they can be browser cached. You probably won't notice a huge difference unless you have an active community or comment section. In Hummingbird Pro, 
Go to the Gravatar Cash option from the caching menu and click Activate. Use Deactivate to clear and remove cached avatars. RSS Cache is on by default on every WordPress website. Hummingbird adds controls for changing the expiry time or disabling. When developing, making changes to your site, or adding and testing features, be sure you flush the cache, or you may not be able to see the changes. Hummingbird Pro makes it easy to add a clear cache button to the top of your page and disable cache for admins to help speed up your site development.